Hi, welcome back to my channel, Cooking with Love with Mary. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I make my baked turkey legs. So first of all, let me wash my hands. And I'm gonna show you how I do my baked turkey legs. I really love this recipe. Uh, I try to do it like at least uh, once a month, you know. But anyway, and I hope you will love this recipe once you uh, once you see it. Okay, so let me spray my pan down with some olive oil. Just lightly spray it. Okay, so I've already washed my, now what I did with my turkey leg, it was like turkey wings, the big turkey wings. I cut them and I, uh, let me show you what I did. Okay, so, so I cut these turkey wings, they was all just one wing and I cut the, the leg part off, separated from the wing, the wing. And then what I did was soaked it in vinegar and water for 24 hours. And then the next 24 hours, I soaked it in Dale. Uh, Dale, maybe a half a cup of Dale. And make sure you fill your, your uh, container all the way up over your meat. And just let it soak for 24 hours. And I pat it dry. And so uh, I'm going to put this in here. My turkey, uh, turkey in here. And then I'm gonna season it. Now this is like maybe three turkey wings, but they are so big, you know. Uh, you know how sometimes that you can get those real huge ones. So first of all, I'm gonna put my black pepper and my salt on it. And then uh, my my recipe for this don't have a lot of measurements. Uh, you can just, you know, put much as you like on there. Now, this is my pepper. And I'm going to put uh, some salt. I have some sea salt here. And I'm not going to put a whole lot because I soaked it in dill. You know, dill is kind of salty, you know, so you don't have to put a lot. I'm going to do my basil. Like I said, don't have measurement. You know, you just sprinkle your basil on there. And, you know, once you do this side, you try to flip it over. And you do the opposite side. And it's gonna cook in the oven for like one hour. Then I'm gonna take it out. And then I'm gonna add some uh, chicken stock on there and put it back in the oven for like maybe 45 minutes. And it's gonna come with uh, uh, some sauce. Like I'm gonna put uh, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, and make a little broth to it and pour it over it. Oh boy, it's delicious. It really is. This is my portrait seasoning. Now I did my uh, oregano leaf portrait seasoning and my basil. This is a uh, garlic, garlic powder. Okay. And I'm gonna put some onion powder. I got I have the granulated onion, but you can use onion powder also. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. So, you know, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the comment section, you know. And, you know, uh, if you do this recipe, if you have any questions, you know, let me know. Uh, let me give my hands a quick wash because I don't want to touch my uh, containers here. Uh, you know, I, I st I'm still going to wash everything down once I finish because when you're dealing with turkey, it's just like chicken. You got to make sure you keep your, your hands clean. So, okay, I'm going to put some more salt on this side. Okay, and some black cracked pepper. Oh, yes, so... You know, turkey really, this turkey, turkey wings is not really a very expensive dish. I mean, you can have a big family. You can kind of do this for your big family with some rice. And I think I'm going to do some rice with it also. Okay, that's my onion powder, granulated onion. 
and my garlic powder here. And I should have seasoned this in a different container and then put it put it in my foil pan because you know I got uh some diced uh vegetables that has to go underneath it. So I'm just gonna probably take it out and uh put it back, put the vegetables in there, and then put it back on top of my vegetables. This is my oregano and my porch seasoning and my basil. Yeah, I could have saved myself a little time and all. Uh, okay. Now, okay, what I'm gonna do is, oh, I'm about to sneeze. This pepper is getting me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to hold it in. But anyway, I'm gonna put this in my pan here. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my, now I have like some celery and I have green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and uh, onions. I did one onion, one green bell pepper, and a half a red bell pepper, and three stalks of celery. So this is gonna go on the bottom here. And then I had, uh, had my mushroom. It's like, uh, okay. So I'm gonna stir this all together. Cause you know when it cooks, it's gonna uh it's gonna shrink. Okay, so I'm gonna lay my uh, turkey parts back on here. Okay, so uh, when I when I uh, finish laying this on here, I'm gonna put it in the oven for at least an hour. Cause see, it has its own juices and stuff right now, so it has, it's gonna stay stay in the oven for an hour. Let me give my hands a quick wash here. And cause when it come out of the oven, I'm gonna add a uh, half a cup of portrait seasoning, uh, portrait. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, chicken broth. And then I'm gonna put it back in the oven for 45 minutes. So let me let me cover it. Uh, let me see. Okay. So let me cover it. So I'm gonna put it in the oven, like I said, for an hour. Oh, and I'm gonna set my oven for 350 degrees. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the oven for an hour. And then when I get back, uh, I'm gonna add a half a cup of broth to it. And then I'm gonna put it back in the oven. Then I'm gonna show you how I make my uh, my sauce, my gravy that's go, gonna go on top of it, which I say is uh, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. And then I'm gonna take uh, the vegetables that I have in the bottom of my turkey. I'm gonna pour it out with the juices and I'm gonna use that to make my uh cream of chicken and mushroom broth that's gonna go on top of it. Okay, I'm back. I'm getting ready to take my turkey wings out of the oven. And I said the temperature was supposed to be like 300. It's, it should be 400 instead of 300. And also when I used uh, the mushroom that I used was the, uh, was the uh, one half pound of a uh, button mushroom, that's what it was. One half pound of button mushroom. I use, I usually get the whole ones and I chop them up myself, you know, slice them. Uh, some, but they do come all, already sliced if you wanna 
get them, you know, that's already sliced. I just like to get mine and so I can wash them down real good, you know, how, how to make sure they're clean. And, and okay, I'm gonna get ready to take my turkey out of the oven. And also, the temperature that your turkey, I mean, not, not the temperature, the time, you know, you might have to do a little adjusting to your time is according to how big your turkey uh, legs are. So, you know, I think I'm gonna have to do a little adjusting to, uh, adjusting to my time also. Okay, let me uh, uh, adjust my camera, camera to my, right here, okay. Now this is my turkey wings here and legs. I'm gonna take it. What I'm gonna do is take it out of, out of this pan here, and I'm gonna take the the juice and the uh, the bell peppers and all my vegetables that I have up under under my legs and wings, and I'm gonna transfer it to a pot, and I'm gonna add uh, a ten ounce can of mushroom uh, cream of mushroom and a half a can of uh, cream of chicken to this right here and i'm gonna put it in my pot and let it cook for like simmer for look like cook for like 10 minutes at least 10 minutes and then i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna take my wings and i'm gonna back out of the oven and pour all that sauce on uh on top of my wings and let it cook for like maybe 20 more minutes so okay let me get my pot here. And I'm gonna put all of this liquid and my vegetables inside of my pot. Okay. And I'm gonna put my uh, wings back into my foil pan. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the oven and put it on broil. I'm gonna put it on broil for like maybe 20 minutes, rotating, you know, from one side, you know, to the other side. And then I'm gonna take them out in 20 minutes and put my cream of mushroom soup that I'm making on top of it. Okay. Now I'm gonna set my oven to uh, broil. Let me cancel this. Okay, I got it on low broil. And so now I'm gonna put my, uh, let me put this in the oven for like 20 minutes. But I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes so I can evenly rotate it, you know, to the other side and let it broil on the other side. Okay. Turn my eye on here. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna put my half a half a cup of this cream of uh, chicken soup in here. And then, you know, I'm going to season it. It says to uh, season it, you know. I'm going to season it with some of the seasoning that I put on my chicken. Just a little of it, you know, just to give it a little flavor. Okay. Okay, let me give this a stir. Okay, let me see. Let's get this a little closer. I'm gonna try to get it a little closer. Okay. And I'm gonna put just a tad of my seasoning that, like I said, that I'd already put on my uh, on my turkey when I seasoned the turkey. Put a, just a little more of this basil. And a little more porcher seasoning. And some garlic powder. And 
onion powder. And, okay, and I'm gonna put just a little more black pepper in here. Okay, and last, lastly, I'm gonna put some salt, but let me taste it first to make sure before I go in with that salt. Oh yes, this is coming together perfect. Let's see. Okay, we can use just a little salt. Okay. And so I'm gonna let this come to a boil for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna let it boil for like 10 minutes. And then once I rotate my turkey in the oven on the other side, let it broil 10 minutes. Then I'm going to pull this on top of it. And then I'm going to serve it on a bed of rice. So when I get back, I'm going to show you my finished product. Okay, I'm back to show you my finished product. Okay, let me adjust my camera. Okay. Now. Okay, I'm gonna, well first, I'm gonna, I told you I had some rice here. I'm gonna uh, be putting a bed of rice here cause I got the mushroom gravy and I just love rice with my uh, gravy, either cream potato and yeah. So, but anyway, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, just leave me a comment in the comment section. Also, and tell your friends about it. Okay. So let me get get me a piece here. Oh, it's, it's tearing off the bone. Oh. Oh, look at that. That is so beautiful. I'm going to get one of these little flat pieces here. Okay, and I'm going to put me a little gravy on. Put me a little more gravy on it. And you got the mushrooms in here. You got your bell peppers and your onions. Oh, I'm going to get me a little of this gravy. Okay. So let me show you my finished product here. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at there. That is beautiful. Let me sit it here. So you can get a better look at it. Okay. Okay. Now this is my finished product. And I'm gonna get a taste of this. Oh, look at there. Look at that, how tender it is. You just fall off the bone here. Look at there. Oh, my goodness. Give me some of this rice, some bell peppers. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. So, like I say, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the comment section. So, if you try this recipe, just let me know how it comes out. But I did leave it in the oven for at least uh, three hours and 45 minutes. I know that was a long time, but if you want it tender, that's what you're gonna have to do. Leave it in there at 400, uh, at, on a temperature of 400. So, until next time, bon appetit.